Right, quick video. It's autumn and I'm on the Quantox, but the the camera and the battery charger are both playing up. Now I had charged the camera, but sometimes for some strange reason it um, goes flat. For very strange it is when that happens. And for some reason, although it started to charge when I was inside in the camper van, the, the orange light's gone off and it doesn't show like there's much battery. Anyway, I'm doing a walk up towards Old Fox and House, up on the top, and then I'm going to go round and come down Somerton Coombe. Um, I've got a feeling there might be a hunt on today. I can hear dogs barking already. It's a beautiful day, and I'm now sort of with a flat battery on the camera, plus the charger's not charging for some reason. Um, this does happen sometimes. I've, I've got a lot going on in my life, and I think it reflects in the battery charger for some reason. Um, so this is a very short video. I'm walking down the track. It's very beautiful today. Uh, it's the best day. Um, tomorrow is going to be similar, but I've driven out to the Quantox and I, I can't just come back out here tomorrow with two charged batteries. So I'm a bit distressed really, because I've come out here to do photos. Uh, if this packs up in a minute and it won't charge, I've got, there's not a lot I can do, to tell the truth, because it's the orange light which shows it's charging. It's just not working for some strange reason. The whole camera's playing up, actually. Um, normally, I, I used to carry two cameras. I'm going to have to start doing it again because... Oh, dear. It's typical, isn't it? I had this trouble once before when I came out on the Quantox. Um, both cameras wouldn't charge. It was really, really awkward. I only managed to do a little bit of photography so I'm going to turn off now and save what battery I've got um, I'll, I'll come back on later I'm going past Old Foxton House Old Wordsworth's house in a minute over and out here we go Old Foxton Hall or house near Holford um, that's it crumbling away just got to look at the attic windows there to see how, look at the roof, state of the roof, look at the state of the wood. Um, it's gradually getting worse, they've uh, not done anything to it at all. I think it might have had a coat of paint once. The grounds are still absolutely gorgeous though, aren't they? You know, look at that tree there, look, isn't that pretty? I come in the summer, so it's good to do an, au an autumn one. The barn next door, as we all know, is uh, occupied. And uh, I don't know if it's owned or just rented, but it's... <sighs> when I first found this place, it still had roses around the door. And somebody was, like, caretaker in it for a while. The swimming pool's up there. I'm not going to wander all up there. I have done it all before. lovely house but it's probably listed as well you know with the symbol of the dog they pe repainted the one uh, at the pound as I came up the track earlier similar to that one it is the lord of the manor here donated a dog pound to the village of Holford I don't even know if any, I think somebody must still live here. Um, no car today though. Yeah, they're still, they're still occupied. But, uh, it's just a small video. I always do when I come up here. I always do. or something there. Maybe they are going to start. I know they've tidied up the garden area. That's a nice letterbox, isn't it? Coach house, it's called that. 
Like I've said before, I've been up them spiral staircases before. I've been up there. Yeah, no one's in the back, the back half. And I've explored all around here. It's all on other videos. And I've been in the house as well before now. The door was left open once, and me and Zara just went in to have a look. And uh, we just, I did, I did a video and I was in there everything. <sighs> we just have a quick look at the uh, gardens to see what they're like in the winter. I'll be going up there in a minute. Um, so. It's a lovely day today. Yeah, this was all a shambles when I first came here. There was a bit of a shambles in here, but um These old stables though are falling apart now, look. The roof's been new roof on that. There's a little chapel as well that's uh, also deteriorated. And this lovely old barn. That, lovely old barn. Original cobbled stones. That's got worse. More crumbling there. More cracks. But the old beams are still here. The old arched and carved beams. But look at this lovely flooring. This could be 500 years old at least. I've seen it up in um, Delmain in Cumbria. The farm there, they have this sort of cobbled flooring. And then we come out here, we've got the Bristol Channel beyond. And then you come to the wall garden, which has been tidied up. Um, yeah, it's been tidied up a bit. Lovely views over there, by the way. And this was somewhere around here was the chapel. The gate there. Yeah, that's right. Here's the chapel in here. Yeah. So got his arched window, see? See if there's any pennies, any gold. Right, I'm just going to turn off for a minute. Look at that lovely. Lovely door though. 